Hey, hi, I'm here with Billy Stone from CBS College Sports Network. Megan, yes. as of April 4th, we've changed our name. We're the CBS Sports Network. Oh, well, that's very good to know. So, Billy Stone with the CBS Sports Network. It's new to me, too. It's new. <laughs> okay, well, good. So, what do you do um, there with CBS Sports Network? Well, I run a property for us called the Alt Games, College Action Sports Championships. And it's all those championships that are not NCAA-based, surfing, snowboarding, skiing, the fun stuff that kids from all around the country participate in. We run a spring festival and we televise it. Nice, and how long has that been running? Well, you know, it's six years, but in dog years, it's much longer than that. It's, we actually create the event, we run the event, and then we televise it and put it into programming blocks. It occupies a great part of our third quarter, which is June, July, August, programming on the network. Okay, well that's very exciting. And you're here at CME speaking about um, new media changing. So what do you see um, along with this new event? What do you see coming um, in 2011 for you? Well, what comes for all of us is we're all looking for properties and television that make financial sense. And one of the reasons I run this property is we don't pay rights fees. We don't go pay the skateboarding national governing body like Major League Baseball a huge amount of money for the rights to televise their events. What it does is it gives you a chance to create your own property, put your own spin on it, and make it more fiscally sensible. And so I think that as we look at 2011, 2012, and 2013, it's always interesting to find out what is the next property that you can get your hands on, mold to the way you'd like it to look, and make it make sense for your network. Because all of us can go get in a bidding war for many property, properties, CBS is among them, but the interesting and the entrepreneurial side of it is, what can you televise and what can you get your hands on that no one else sees value in? That's very interesting. Well, sometimes it is, and, but you, you, you fail a lot in the process. You gotta have a little bit of thick skin to do it, but you know what that's like, right? You went yes. to Miami, Ohio. I did, I did, I just graduated in May. Where did you go for undergrad? Well, American University. It's the top school in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Um, we really have a lot of respect for our competitors, but it's American that is the, is the standard bearer in the D.C. area. And what were you involved in when you were a student at uh, American? Well, you know, I, what I like to tell all the students is get involved in many things. If you're gonna go to a school like American in Washington, D.C. or Georgetown, um, you want to be involved in much more than your academic curriculum. When I was at school, I was lucky to be involved in the television station, and I also got a chance to play basketball. Oh, that's very exciting. How do you feel about the um, tournament happening right now? Well, the ratings are up, and I'm with CBS Sports, and I don't work specifically on the tournament, but there's a lot of cheering going on with the new partnership with Turner. The ratings f are so very popular and they're up, so it's a big celebration time. It's a great sport, and I think CBS has always done the best job televising it, and they don't let me near that part. <laughs> and do you think they'll continue the same um, setup on having all the games on different networks so you can see them all at the same time? It's the start of a 14-year deal. This is year one, so it's going to be this way for a long time. And what I really think has been great about this year's presentation of the tournament is how quickly the fan has adapted and appreciated the experience. They can find any game they want, it's in full, but they know to always come back to CBS or their Turner network of choice to see the game that they're looking for. Yes, I think it's been very successful. We've talked about it in our Georgetown classes How's and the everyone. Pool doing? Um, pretty bad. Yeah, well, there's not many pools that are that are do, doing well, but tonight's games, and we're sitting here on a Friday, the Friday night's games will be great and throughout the weekend. The Final Four in Houston next weekend, mm -hmm. we're expecting good things. Right, and I mean, I'm just looking for good games. My bracket really doesn't matter as long as they're close. I think that makes it most exciting. Okay, but i got something else for you. Okay, last weekend in June, put it on your calendar now, June 25th and 26th. On CBS on the 25th at 2 o'clock, we'll have an hour on the College Action Sports Championships, and right after that, 10 hours on Saturday and Sunday on the new CBS Sports Network cable network. So last weekend in June, mark it on your calendar. You'll really love it. Okay, everyone hear that? Tune in the last week of June. Thank you so much for talking with us. Great.